For my patients, most of my time spent with those patients is pre-op. So we spend about an hour just educating them, understanding the different implant choices, learning about their anatomy, learning what's going to be the best implant for them. Part of that is educating them that there's a commitment to getting a breast implant. You don't just get an implant and disappear. Life happens. Young women go off to college, patients in their 20s and 30s are having babies, patients in their 40s and 50s are going through menopause. Life happens, breasts continually change. Mammograms are important. I start to really tune in on breast health with my patients and in order to do that I have to make an agreement with them that they're going to come back every two years. It's wonderful in a practice because you get to see these patients grow up. Now I just had a patient who had I put in her first implant at 22. She came back in her mid-30s after the couple of babies and then I just changed her implant again. So two implants in 20 years I think that's kind of a success. The important thing is to let them know that implants don't last forever. The biggest reason that my patients are changing their implants is because their body is 10 years older. The body we picked an implant for at 23 may not be the same body at 33. Technology changes, we do get better devices, surgical techniques get better, and their life has changed and they've aged. And what they personally think is pretty changes. The things they hated about themselves, they may not hate so much anymore, they may hate other things. So basically, I give my patients an estimate of about 10 years.